Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another test shooting day on the agenda. And before that happens, I'm gonna go with Elise to get a full medical checkup, which I've never actually done, which Elise was bullying me about all day yesterday because I've never gotten like a blood test. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous because she told me it's the most terrible thing on earth. So we're gonna do the medical checkup now. And then I'm gonna head to my test shoot to meet up with Lucas, Anton, and I don't know the photographer yet. I'm as confused as you guys are, but it's gonna be a surprise for all of us so I'm looking forward to it. Are you ready for the checkup? Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> it's also pretty sad because when I got here to the Philippines I bought three plants and all of them are dying except Spikey. He's still alive. <laughs> but the other two are both dying and my favorite which is the bamboo is basically half dead already. What can you do? Right guys, so the medical checkup is done, as you can see by my arm, which has like 50% less blood it feels like. And yeah, I never knew they took out this much blood. It was like, they just kept taking more and more and more. And then the syringe was like full and I was like, fucking hell, I thought they just took like a small dot of blood or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're done now and now we're heading to Starbucks for the first coffee of the day. Hopefully everything is fine with the results. Wait, we also need to put in the little box. It's important. Another important fact that Elise just reminded me of is that we actually need to sh in a little cup and then bring it back there within 30 minutes. And it's gonna be quite the rush. It's like scoop it all up <laughs> into this little plastic cup and then you run to this clinic and you're like, here you go. And they're like, Thank Very you, cool. thank you so much. Guess what this is, guys? <laughs> Guess what's in my pocket? <laughs> it's also really awkward vlogging about this in the public, but it's all right, anything for you guys. <laughs> also, the test that I did was like a complete checkup, so it was like combining everything. So that's why they had to fill like four or five test tubes with my blood. Overall, it costs like 6,000 pesos or something. It's like $120. On the other hand, it's probably best that you know what you have and if it's all healthy and stuff. So I would recommend you guys do it too. At least, you know, once every 21 years because I've never done this before. At least was saying that in Belarus, they were doing it like every year or even every half a year, which is pretty insane to me. But I think it's a good kind of habit to start keeping because, you know, it's good to know if you're healthy or if something's going on. And so, yeah, go get checked, guys. Medicine and health is not a joke. You uh, need to take it a bit more seriously. So, time for the test shoot. I'm already getting my makeup done by the wonderful Anton Patu. Oh, it's like a heart. <laughs> the photographer today is actually the one that I shot with on my first ever modeling shoot. And it was pretty funny as well. We also went to the first fashion show ever together. I'll include photos of that now. I look so much younger there. <laughs> I think it's always pretty funny to like have half of your makeup done and then the bottom half is super nice and the top half still has pimples and is like all dirty and stuff. It's the best when they do one side first and then the other and you look like Two-Face, you know. Look at the amount of brushes that Anton actually uses and different products. I think it's pretty insane. Like I have no idea what any of these do. <laughs> Alright guys, makeup and hair is done, as you can kind of tell. But before we get shooting, I have to do my pre-shoot ritual, which is getting a coffee from the same place that I told you guys about last time. And you guys probably already know, it's literally like 20 meters from the shooting place, which is up there. And then over there is the coffee place. Super cool because you don't need to walk far or anything, and you can just, whenever you want a coffee, you can just go get one quickly and then come back. And uh, no one will mind because right now, Lucas and Christoph are both doing their makeup because they're also shooting with me and I have some good news for you guys as well because they said there would be some topless shooting. What am I gonna do now? Change of plans. I'm gonna get my coffee from somewhere else because they decided that they want to be closed today. I don't need you. <laughs> I got my own place. All right guys, free promotion for this one because they're actually open. So this is outfit number one which is a full black one. Outfit number one. Here we go. <laughs> So apparently that wasn't everything because I got a jacket on top, some accessories, this nice necklace. Outfit number two is looking like a polar bear and yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys, that is outfit number three, which is this blue hoodie, which is super nice. And I think the photos of this one are gonna be super cool. And these black pants, ignore the flip-flops. Those are not part of the outfit, but I just wanted to vlog outside again because the music in there is too loud again. It's already sunset and it's only the third outfit. So I have no idea at what time we will actually finish. Anyways, I'm gonna go back inside so that we can keep shooting. So outfit number four, and it's a turtleneck and black pants again. And this time I'm shooting with Lucas, so should be pretty fun. Best You're having job fun ever. <laughs> right guys, that's all the outfits done. We're now gonna eat our burgers and then head home, we're all tired. The first thing that I usually do when I get back from a job or a shoot or any kind of thing where I have makeup on my face, I take off my makeup with makeup remover because the makeup is super heavy on your skin and it blocks all your pores. So basically the way that I usually remove makeup is I use one of these and then my makeup remover, which is this one. Wow, I've become a beauty influencer. And then take off all the makeup. And then once all of that is done, I use my girlfriend's face wash. But I actually prefer this one, which is nicer. So you start using this one and this, you put some on there. And then you start like removing it super lightly. You don't want to irritate your skin. And then you have all that. The wait, wait, it actually looks like someone just punched you in your eye. <laughs> Who's this? Thanks, honey. Also get yourself one of these. They're super helpful. I mean, if your subscribers are bold, have you thought about it? Unless you're bold, then you don't need it. Look at all this, do you see that? Once you've removed all the makeup, you should feel like crying either because you got some of this wonderful makeup remover in your face, I mean in your eye. Oh fuck. Or because you look like shit when you look in the mirror. Anyways, once you've added it all, wash it off with water. All right, so that's my skincare routine basically done. After that, I moisturize my skin because you just removed all the moisture from your skin. So you want to add some back so your skin doesn't die and scream for help. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then that's going to be it from me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.